Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. The one thing I've learned about human beings through the show is that every human has his or her own favorite subject. Like mm. Everyone has like their own subject that they enjoy the most. Mm. Like for me, it's actually the subject of content. In terms of how do you constantly talk to the masses? Mm. Uh, of course, for you, it's economics. Mm. Like though you know your history and you've written books on history as well. Fair to say that it's your yeah yeah. I mean, but I I am generally interested. I'm a curious sort of chap. So I the, my real interest is in the interconnections between various fields. If you were to give that subject a name, what would it be? It, I cannot give it a name. I would just say that it, you know. It's difficult to give it a subject, but I, I, my real interest is in looking at systems which are complex, uh, interconnected systems and how they evolve. I would still say it's economics in my eyes. Yeah, so economics is a very large part of it. Yes. What would you say is PM Modi's subject? I think he his real interest is in reviving India as a civilization, which is partly how I see that as well. I mean, he he really genuinely thinks that. Um, uh, this is India's moment in history, and uh, he is doing his part in, you know, taking us through that Renaissance period. Like his driving force in life is the revival of our country. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So another thing that I know is policy is also governed by human emotions. At the end of the day, the human emotion for all the policy making that we're seeing in our country is the re revival of the Sone ki Chidiya India that we've all heard about while growing up. Fair to say? Yeah, in a sense, you could say that. Anything yes. else you'd like to add to that? Yes, and I think, of course, it doesn't mean very important that this is not a view of going back to something. I want to emphasize this because some people may then see it as, you know, we must go back to the 3rd century BC. No. Uh, this is entirely a modernist idea. Uh, we want to be a modern country for our times. Uh, but yes, in terms of with our roots intact. So uh, this is an important part of how we think about it. Hmm. So, you know, uh, uh, there's, you know, there's no point in trying to go back to the third, you know, clearly our society has changed, technology has changed, the world has changed. We are not trying to go back to any uh, pristine golden past. And indeed, even our ancestors were uh, up to date for their times. So in the, in the, in, if you had to go by the correct spirit of our ancestors, then the spirit is to be up to date in our times. But with a very clear rootedness going back to where, you know, the continuity of our civilization. Because let's be very clear, we are the oldest living civilization. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.